Hey everybody, this is Warp Jester, and welcome to the first episode of my Bottle Rocket Gaming Server Play series. Yay! I've been uh, talking about this in uh, a few other videos I've done for uh, how-to tips, and have not gotten a chance to actually sit down and do any kind of recording for this. So, this is going to be my, my episode zero, if you will. Uh, I want to basically... Take a tour of the server, show you what we've got so far, tell you a little about Bow Rocket Gaming and who we are and what we do. Uh, to start off with, though, I do want to uh, give you a quick little synopsis on who we are. Uh, the bottom line is we're a bunch of real-world friends that got together and decided to uh, collab to make a, uh, a gaming clan. It is a multi-game uh, gaming clan of, of sorts. Uh, however, we do happen to be very mind craft centric at the moment so that's kind of where we sit the founders of our wonderful clan include uh, myself warp jester turgo his wife heather uh Sashela, vsd argentum bunny foo foo uh also i have to mention uh one of the person we have on here that i absolutely adore to death is uh yankee vader really good guy that we met uh, on the last server we were on and uh, he's come over with us. So, great group of core people here. And again, we came together because we wanted to have a server that we could uh, customize and tweak and, and have fun with. Um, and this was just the way to do it. So, uh, that's, what, that's what we are, basically. Um, how we got started, again, uh, it's just... I've popped from server to server to server to server for a long time, seeing what the world is like. Uh, I've seen the good, seen the bad, I've seen the ugly, which is usually public servers. <laughs> uh, after doing a lot of server hopping and, and whatnot, I ended up meeting a few people, uh, both online and in the real world, uh, around Minecraft. We ended up uh, getting together and uh, playing together a couple servers and decided to... to uh, again, collaborate on our own. Um, let me give some highlights about our wonderful server that we love so much. First things first, uh, we are currently uh, a 1.5.2 server. Now, that said, we are actually working on getting uh, a mod pack ready for a 1.6. But as it is right now, because of the way mods are always in flux, it, it was a lot easier to work with 1.5. We started out oh, about six months ago uh, building our mod pack. And just to give you a quick little highlight here, we have all the usual core mods you expect to have. And that includes Industrial Craft 2, Greg Tech, Build Craft, Forestry, Rail Craft, Thermal Expansion, the usual lot. Uh, we also have uh, a, a couple of unique mod replacements. Um, as much as I love Red Power, we can't wait around, obviously, for it to ever show up again. So we've decided to add in both uh, Project Red as well as Redstone in Motion to kind of uh, take the place of uh, uh, RP2. So that's a lot of uh, love we've done. Now, beyond the usual core basic mods, we have all the usual uh, supporting mods, the additional attachments for forestry and so on. But we also have a couple of uh, fun, unique mods. Um, some of the ones we really enjoy are the Infernal mods, More Mobs mod, and uh, Mutant Creatures mods. Uh, those together, uh, or individually, are fun mods. But you put them together, you get a lot of really unique and really interesting environments. Um, additionally, we also have the Chiseled mod, beautiful mod it is completely cosmetic but it is so worth it so i'm very happy to have that and of course on top of that we've got open blocks and extra utilities these are two mods that are just absolutely fun a lot of really cool little basic functionality and stuff to have so we enjoy it um what other mod we do like to have too is i have to mention is archimedes ship it's a little bit sketchy at times it's a little bit uh weird but that said, for for what it is, it is a fun mod to play with, and having ships we can sail both in the sea and in the sky is is pretty epic. Um, uh, a couple of unique values about our mod pack: we have upwards of about a hundred mods or so, and uh, this includes over two hundred biomes spanned across three different biome 
mods. That's Highlands, uh, Biomes of Plenty, and uh, Extra Biomes. We actually have all three of them here working together, so we get a lot of diversity. So that's a lot of fun. Um, probably the creme de la creme, though, and this is a, a, a hot-button topic for some people. We've actually made the pledge to remove and or just not use anything related to teleporting. This includes uh, portal guns, uh, uh, ender chests, ender tanks, tesseracts, you name it. We've actually gotten rid of a lot of them, but for the few that we can't get rid of, like the mirrors from Thomcraft, we've made the pledge not to use them. So we are a non-teleportation-based system or a server. Uh, the reason for it, quite simply, is as much as I appreciate the, the, the ease and convenience of teleportation, it's become a little bit too easy and a little bit too convenient. Um, Logistics is a fun thing for us to deal with, and part of our mod, which I'll get into a little bit later here, is all about logistics, and it just teleportation makes it a little bit too easy to deal with. So that's basically that. Um, beyond the mod pack itself, uh, by the way, we call it our uh, M80 mod pack. This is a private mod pack. It is not for public release. So please don't ask. <laughs> it is just for us to use. Uh, it, it's just easier that way. So... All right, so enough of me babbling here. Uh, I'm currently at the spawn point, and uh, we're actually going to take a tour of what we have currently. Our server is still very young, only a few months old. Technically, it's on release for the past month. Uh, that said, we do have a lot of stuff already built and moving forward. So I'm going to go ahead and skip over to the main town and start the tour. So I'll be back with you in just a moment. All right, guys, so here we are. This is the first stop on our tour today. Uh, we started out with a main town. We just basically took over a village and started expanding on it. Um, due to a lot of the development in our mod pack and so whatnot, we actually ended up uh, taking over a couple of villages and merging them together. Long story, well, ask me about it in the forums, I'll explain it there. But this is our main little town. Most of the stuff here, honestly, is pretty temporary. We have some temporary homes over here. Uh, I'm in white, Bunny Fufu's in blue. We've got uh, Turgo and his wife in the uh, uh, jungle or uh, palm tree looking uh, house there as well as the girls in back, and then finally the game I was talking about. Um, this town is basically our starting village. We've got the, the basic amenities in terms of a, a workshop over here, and we even have a church that has all of our uh, thomcraft and portals inside of. So very basic, very straightforward. Nothing here, again, is very permanent. We're just get, we're getting our feet, in, <laughs> feet under us, and we need to have a place we can work out of, so that's what this kind of become. I'm going to go ahead and poke my head into the workshop real quick. It is pretty intense in here so my computer does not like it too much so i'll try not to lag out too badly uh, basically we've got it set up very centric around the uh, tinker's construct uh smeltery and we've got some mj powered items on one side ic power on the other side and some stuff in the back there including the laser bench uh ae system is our predominant system for managing our inventory currently who knows what will, the future will hold but uh, that's basically it uh beyond that uh, for our main town here, I'm going to touch on a few places here. First things first is going to be our starting area. Now, this starting area was designed quite literally as a place for new people to come on who don't have a home yet. If they don't really want to do the usual brave the night, punch a tree, all that good stuff without any kind of protection, they can actually go ahead and check in here at the uh, Skeezy Motel. It's basically just a simple setup of extra rooms with some basic amenities for them including of course a bed a chest to store stuff in you even have a bathroom back there i've got to show this off because it's so wonderfully tacky it's just horrendous turgo's wife uh did a good, really good job on uh setting this up here so <laughs> it's, it's it's horrific each room is a little bit different on the inside here you have uh, different carpeting, different uh wallpaper uh if you'd like to see more of them hey uh ask us <laughs> so this is skizzy motel beyond uh, across the street from that we've got uh a new structure that's going up i'm actually building this, this is going to be a little uh cheesy strip mall for people to put shops into haven't picked out a name for it yet so i'm going to be uh trying to figure that out so that's going to be one of the things on my project list which we'll talk about later uh this is our church i talked about the church is something i designed uh, a while back again this is kind of our magic room so we've got all the thumbcraft set up inside here and also up there we've got the portals both for the uh, uh nether as well as the uh, 
Twilight Forest. I'm going to try and move other portals into this because we do have one more portal hiding currently outside, and that's to the Promised Lands, and that's way up there. So, the uh, surface look a little bit of disarray, but hey, that's okay. I'm going to hop up here real quick and show you a couple of parts of our main city here. I'm actually going to fly over the top here. I actually have my advanced jetpack. Uh, we do have plans to put up a big giant ball rocket gaming sign across the top here, kind of a la Hollywood style maybe. Not entirely sure just yet. And then coming over here, this is our city hall we're currently constructing. I've done basically the rough layout of it. It did turn out a heck of a lot bigger than I really had anticipated it turning out to be, but eh, it is what it is. I am responsible for the rough design and layout of it, uh, dome design and so on. The actual uh, design work inside here, this wonderful, wonderful floor, this is actually done by Heather Turco's wife. Uh, she is a whiz, and she actually designed this. <laughs> Funnily enough, she designed this in uh, Excel. So, wonderful design there. We also have uh, some office space and uh, our main meeting room here. Look at that carpet. Oh, that is just that, that's part of the chiseled mod. It is a connective, connective texture carpet, and it is stellar. So, this is all uh, Heather's uh, doing. Uh, Got a little construction site here. So, of course, you have to have your construction site amenities like your construction trailer and other things. <laughs> and moving on here, that's City Hall. That is another project I'll be talking about more. Here is our power plant. Now, our power plant is obviously very much just in the basics. Uh, rough cobblestone layout. I haven't had a chance to go any further than that. We just need something up and running so we can actually function. We've got uh, currently two... Uh, liquid-based boilers running, uh, high-pressure boilers running steam out to the turbines out here. I'll show you in a second. We do technically have two solid fuel boilers. However, with the removal of teleportation items like the ender chest, uh, these have shut down, so we have to run a pipe all the way from town out to it to resupply them. So those uh, two liquid boilers are what we're running on right now, and they actually feed as much as they can these turbines right here. Now, we've decided to go with a slightly different mentality when it comes to power supply. We do uh, provide public power for the city, so if you live in a city, you can tap into our, our grid, if you will. But we're not doing this big, giant, massive, like, basically battery array that these things would feed into. We've got just a simple MFSU on top of these things just to make it easy to connect to. Beyond that, though, there is no battery to serve. These things are pretty much a tap-on-demand uh, environment. So as the need goes up, more turbines will spool up. There's our liquid tank for the uh, liquid fuel boilers. So we basically are just doing on-demand power for our city and that's that's just, again it, it's fun to create logistics for us to kind of abide by just to check things out see what, see what can be done set a challenge for yourself and, and and see what you can do uh this is my little air balloon right here this is part of the archimedes ship model i was talking about um i basically use this whenever i go on any kind of uh oops sorry uh whenever i go on site to do some work i can actually load the inside of the balloon up with uh chests and whatnot and i can fly off to wherever i need to go it's basically a mobile <laughs> mobile work center this is going to be a uh a i think it's a water treatment plant designed by turgo he's working on that currently so we're going to have uh public utilities piping through our city and this is where we're going to pipe our water from again just fun to have that's a hole in the ground exciting actually that is actually from this right here this is a little rail uh, I'm called station per se, but a service yard. And I originally had down there one move up here, so I used the new, what's it called? Uh, Redstone in Motion. Uh, basically, the, the, the uh, RP2 frame replacement. So I actually lifted this entire building up in its entirety up and then over to this location here. So this is another project I've been working on. I need to get the rails actually laid out here. This is actually tying into the bare edge of this flat area, which is going to be our rail yard. And that is going to be basically a big, big important part for us because without the ability to teleport items halfway across the world, we have to find other ways to do it. And those ways are going to be the wonders of Railcraft. Ah! Yeah, we're actually be using Railcraft to uh, import items from town to town. We decided we wanted to do, you can see from the little <laughs> tags there, we actually want to have uh each town 
we create have a very specific focus. So the idea is we're going to have one town that's focused on wood. So Forest Town there is going to be the one that's going to have all the tree farms or however we want to set it up to supply the wood to create the basic wood products. So if you need sticks, if you need planks, etc., this town is going to be the one to have it. And then we're going to create the logistics to transfer items in between each town. So if one town needs wood, they can make a call to Forestry and they can... Uh, exchange items. Uh, still working on the logistics of it. It is a challenge. It is a fun, fun challenge. Uh, but it is definitely uh, in the works and it's going to be a while later before we have that refined. So a lot of it's going to be manual transfer for the moment here in terms of loading the train up and sending the train on its way. So that's going to be fun. Speaking of Forest Town, I'm going to go ahead and skip over there and I want to show you a quick tour of that place. Very small town. Just started up. Not really much there. So I'll just go, go there real quick and show off what we got. Be back in a minute. Hey, everybody, and we're back. This is uh, the forestry town. Again, it's just started up, so there's not a whole lot here, but I did want to show off this bridge I did for uh, Yankee. Yankee Vader is actually the guy who opted to take on the task of building out the forestry town, so I try to help him out however I possibly can. Um, but this is a bridge I have. This comes straight in from the rail yard we just saw. This is about 500-ish blocks away, give or take. And it comes into this bridge, onto this little island here. And I'm assuming or guessing that Yankee is going to maybe put a uh, rail station or storage facility or something on top there. I have no idea for certain. But this is the bridge I did. I uh, actually modeled the uh, footing here off of uh, the footing for a couple pictures of the Golden Gate Bridge. They've got the little border around it with gravel to protect it from ships. I very, I really liked it. I'm very proud of it. It was a fun, fun build. A little bit of a challenge too, because those are actually scaffolding, and scaffolding doesn't like to work real well. So you have to learn how to get creative with it. Um, this is the last little bit of the forestry town. Again, we're just getting started up here. Yankee's done a little bit of uh, bay fill to get a flat area, and he's testing out different types of uh, farming systems. He looks like he's working with the mine factory reloaded mod for the forestry aspect. As you can see, trees will pop up. These guys will cut them down and everything's piped in and out. So that looks like he's probably going to end up going with that. But of course, we do have Steve's carts enabled in our server, as well as, of course, forestry. So whoever wants to do what, however they want to do it, that's fine. So that is basically it. We do have plans to build out the server much more and create more cities. Again, we want to create hyper-focused cities and create logistics for them. It makes for a really interesting and fun challenge. We are a very collaborative group. We like to work together on projects, help each other out, just do fun stuff in that nature. So that's pretty much it for now. I appreciate you hanging in there with me and uh, checking out the new place. I am going to start up my server play series as able. I do have a family with three kids, so eh, sometimes finding time to record can be a little bit difficult. But nonetheless, I am going to make a, a solid effort to try to get out at least something every week if I can, so that I can actually have a little bit of content for you guys to, to look at. Um, I... I, I really think that's it. <laughs> I, I feel like there's something else I need to say, and I just I don't know what it is. Well, anyways, uh, as always, uh, I appreciate your time, and uh, if you like, uh, please do leave a comment below, uh, and I will uh, check them out. I do try to reply to comments as much as possible can. Uh, so uh, leave a comment there. Also, uh, leave me a like. Those likes really do help. Uh, it gives me both uh, insight into what you're into, as well as give me a little promotion so I can try to get more people joining up and checking out the stuff so I can get their input as well. The more the merrier, as they say. So please do the like we can. Also, if you enjoy what I have here and if you enjoy the how-tos and the quick tips I have on the this, on this site, please feel free to hit the subscribe button down below at... at uh, you won't be sorry. <laughs> well, like I can't guarantee that. But nevertheless, uh, uh, I appreciate your time. Have yourself good ones. And uh, yeah, I'll have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>